where the points are made up and uh, the story doesn't matter. So that's that's whose line is it anyway, Drew Carey? Calm down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I can be Ryan? In this scenario, I, I don't think you're Ryan. Oh. Anyway, ah, that's right. The the levels don't matter. Just like Zach's opinion of Cirrus's dragon encounter. So, um, <laughs> where we last left our campaign. <laughs> Skating. <laughs> <laughs> just campaign. Um, the entire party was trapped in a nightmare dimension of some crazy design uh, everyone was separated and they went through some pretty traumatic events it was of course our Halloween session a lot of uh, touching up on characters backstories as well as uh, some interesting faces people didn't expect to see such as Zan's former mentor Jace and Rosalind, you learn that in this dimension, time works differently. And the various inhabitants that have been trapped here have continued to leave you clues as to how to escape, or at least how to navigate this, this realm. So when we last left the group, everyone had finally met one another in a room uh, where a table is surrounded by corpses. So. They're all back together. Let's just pick it up right there. And uh, I do want to say that, unfortunately, we're missing one player tonight. Uh, Tyr had his own obligation, so he wasn't able to make it here. Um, so, of course, you know, we'll catch up next session. Uh, and, yay, my webcam's back. So uh, that's pretty awesome on my end. <clears throat> all right, let's just begin where we left off. Everyone is in the room. Corpses around the table. We have uh, Zan, Michelle, Cirrus, uh, Tyr, you found Marna, as well as Jace and uh, Rosalind. So seven people now. Whew, group keeps growing. All right, let's begin in the room. <clears throat> you just tried to cut Jace with... No, we we did, and we cut him, and we and you saw a bleed, and I'm like, I'm trying to collect myself. Yes. And I think I've got the husk of um, Kalanon too. Yeah, it's it's Kalanon, but it's not because you know it can't be here. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marna convinced Michelle to run into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, all right. Take it away, guys. <clears throat> well, I believe we were on our way out the door. Because there's no use just standing here. Um, I want to take a quick look around the room with the corpses. Okay. Um, again, in one corner of the room, which actually let me let me see here. I've got all these tools that I've not been using properly. On one side of the room, you know that there is a chest where you found Marna hidden. In the center of the room, there is a table, which, like I said, was surrounded by corpses. There you go. Just a little visual for you guys. <clears throat> and actually, let me pan this thing in a little bit. Bark. Yeah, I know. Goodness gracious, my dog. We've got a puppy now, and we've been trying to get him trained. I want to look at the corpses to see if I recognize any anything of them. They're skeletons, aren't they? Yes, they are skeletons. They are completely dried up. Uh, once again, as with many other rooms, in the center of this room is a bowl of fruit. While everything in the room is decayed to a point of basically not being there anymore, the fruit is still perfect. Looks fresh. Uh, the corpses in question, you can't make out much of them. They are wearing simple linen clothes, much like yourselves, white robes. Um, well, I'm the only one wearing silk, so. Yeah, 
you know, you're the only one who's wearing an actual dress. Everyone else is wearing the linen tunics that they woke up in. You can see that one of the members of the table is clenching a knife uh, in his or her hand, which, again, each of you did when you started. This, this is going to be weird, but uh, Michelle's going to walk up to the table and, like, force feed a uh, one of the fruit into the skeleton. Like, shove it into its mouth and open and close its mouth and force chew it and just... Just, just force it in there. I want to I wanna see what happens. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, you begin force feeding one of the skeletons. Marna makes a sound as if he's offended. Uh, but nothing really happens. You smash the jaws together to uh, uh, emulate chewing, but it's just you're feeding you a doing? corpse. Well, I was, uh, I, I don't want to get into it. And then I just punched the skull on the skeleton. Marna speaks up. He says, I don't think they're hungry anymore. <clears throat> well, are you hungry? I don't think you're hungry anymore, <laughs> dick. I miss food. I just can't consume it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can't consume it. Like, this guy can't consume it. He, he He's a skull. He can't consume I'm aware. it. I'm aware he's a skull. So was this one. Okay. Let's keep going, because if... Yeah. So, uh, Jace says, you say keep going, but in which direction? We came from the north, in... they came from the east? Um, in that direction. understanding, it doesn't matter. Uh, that has been my experience. It seems sometimes there is a reason to this place. You can take the same passageway and get to the same place. Other times, you simply can't. I, I look at him and I'm like, so how many times did you go back to uh, that room? Hey, I've got, I've, I've got an odd thought. I, I want to go to the bar. And I walk, uh, is that a doorway to the south? Yes, it is. I walk straight through it, thinking about going to the bar. I guess I follow him. Eh. There's really not a lot to do, so I guess I'll follow him as well. Okay, the group is heading through the door to the south. Now, this is an important... Michelle, did you wait for anyone, or did you just go? I just went. All right. <clears throat> just a moment here. I need to move around some things. It's quite a large map, so it's it's difficult for me. I think I need to scale out. That way I can see what we're doing, too. Yeah, I'm not lighting anything up until everyone's where they need to be. I mean, I did have to walk from the other side of the table, and I just, so I had to go around the table, I don't, and everybody was watching me eat, so I don't know how, how long it actually took them to react to just going. But the whole time I was thinking about going to the bar. Can't hear you. Oh, uh, I was saying I'm still figuring out exactly how this program works in some ways, and I just figured something out that made my life a, a little bit easier. You all enter through a simple wooden door into a bar. The place is pretty well lit. Here, I'll, I'll get you all over there. There you go. The place is well lit. And uh, behind the counter is Half Hero. Or 
at least what looks like half hero. He appears much older, but there's still some features that are distinct to the group of you. Again, you were with him on the ship for quite a long time. Uh, does he look like the same half hero I met earlier? He does. Hey, half hero. Brought friends. Brought friends. Oh, you made it back. How did you get back here? He seems very excited. I I thought about coming back here, so I walked back. I look over half hero, like super close. Are you sure this is half hero? Ask him questions. I did. Uh, where was I hiding in your ship that one night we were looking for people? You were under the bed, right? Right? Yeah, you hid under the bed. Yeah, she's a bit of a creeper. I hid under his bed, that way I could give him a surprise ambush. That's what the kids are calling it these days, huh? It was a quite enjoyable experience, so shut up and leave me alone. Surprise ambush. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> so I think I just discovered a thing, guys. Yeah, uh, this isn't the route I took. I went through several rooms once I left here. Um, I know it wasn't very well understood because I just made a beeline because, yeah, uh, there's not a lot of thought process to what I do if any of you couldn't figure that out. Um, so I just thought about going to the bar, and uh, here I am, and here you are. Uh, Jay speaks up saying, well... Yes, and that's that's great and all, but you can't very well just think about leaving and leave. Trust me, I've tried. No. What what what, what about finding a door out, or a different way of thinking about that same outcome? I know a way to get you out. Kill him. No. Jace, I need to show you something. If this is the case. Whoa. You might not like dogs. You might not like what you see. If it gets me out of here. Okay, I'll take my pants off. I kind of look at Rosaline for like, is it okay if I do this? She doesn't really know what you're doing. Okay, well, I think the only way to tell, show, tell you that you're dead and actually show you that you're dead is to actually show you that you're actually dead. What does that mean? I need to show you your grave when I bury you. How do you do that? Just how you thought about when you got here is you thought about the bar. So what happens if I th thought about when I buried him? That's probably a different way to test the same theory. It might be able to get Jace out of here. I'm going to be honest, Michelle, out of character, Michelle at this point is probably on the verge of a brain aneurysm. Because this is a, the hardest he's ever had to think in his life. <laughs> Well, if any of you have suggestions, I'm open to. But again, I've I've been here for a long time. Well, so, we can try it. Okay. But I uh, don't know half if hero, it work. Half hero says, "Wait, you can't leave now. You just got here." Want to come with? No. I mean, there's adventure. This is you and you. I've only ever seen twice in here. It's the only time people have come back. We've done amazing things before and you've seen it. Come on. Mm. Come on. And I start doing like a man boob titty dance. I'll walk over to the door. All right, let's go. Wait, which door? 
I'll walk over to the, uh, the one on the northwest. So you're traveling as a group now. Correct? I grab half hero. <clears throat> you're just picking him up. I'm gonna pick him up and bring him both up. All right. As and... I as I do it, I'm gonna yell, "There's strength in numbers!" and then just run after. See. Well, I'm all, or I'm at the door. I haven't opened it. I'm waiting for Sam. I I'm walking to the door, and I have Jason in my own hand, and I don't care if he's like trying not to go with me. So your theory is that you can show him his grave and convince him that he's dead, and then what? Uh, pretty much that. As he has an existential crisis. We say yeehaw, motherfucker, and see what happens. DM. What? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I think we're playing a lot of this by the seat of our pants at this point. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, after we get done with this, I do have a theory to chest. To chest? What? To test. Okay. So, allow me to... Uh... So, my action is as it lines up with making sense with the group running out the door. You can take artistic... The fact that you figured this out before all of us. I wouldn't say that's figured out. I would say it worked that time. Stupidity has its perks. <clears throat> okay. So, Zan, you and Jace enter our room. You are not with the rest of the party. The room before you is much like the other rooms in this building. The floor is checkered black and white tile. The walls are a single carved stone. Up above, you see a number of chandeliers with the candles put out. Uh, the room is large and pretty nondescript. I don't want to interrupt, but who has Marna? You do. Okay. Right? I, I yeah, I gave him. I'm okay if I have Marna, but I just wanted to make sure that like one of us is tracking having. Yeah, I gave you Marna because you were like together. So I'm gonna have him under one arm and half hero under the other. Arm. My boys. Okay, just the two of you here. Again, the only light in this room is the illumination from the orb above you. He kind of just looks left and right and says, well? I, had, I was testing a theory, but I was kind of hoping to show you your grave from probably my memory, but I guess not. I'm lost. We've lost the rest of them as well. Of course. <clears throat> so, where do we go from here? How old do you think I am? I don't know. Age is just a number. A couple hundred years. Maybe. How long have you been gone? Forty years. Hmm. Hard to say. Time moves strangely. I can't quite remember how long I've been. You said the knife was in your fa family heirloom? Yes, of course. I was sworn to secrecy. It has certain attributes that are not befitting certain individuals. It's important that weapons of power, like the one you spoke about before, be kept a secret or else people will come looking for them. We kind of need them. So that's why I'm asking. I start looking for the doors 
or for a way out. So wait, where was it? The blade. What blade? My family's heirloom. It, it's in your, you, it's with you in your grave. I would love to show you your grave, but my theory was proven wrong. Well, again, I, I can't say that I can fully accept that I died. How could anyone? I don't feel dead. I certainly don't seem it. <clears throat> he turns and looks and raises one hand and points to the wall. You see more etchings in the wall. Looks like it's been roughly carved out a long time ago. Um, it says, you must pay the toll. I've not seen this room before. Are you thinking or writing? I was writing. Doing drugs. <clears throat> anyway, he says, I've not seen this room before. I wonder what... I've been here for a long time. I wonder what... Well, I have to pay. I start looking I would around. Like you to uh, roll perception. Nineteen. hear a skittering sound. Something is moving in the room with you. However, your field of view is pretty short. You can't see. I bring Jace closer and I bring my knife out and Kalanon, what the husk of Kalanon, I'm calling it the husk because it's no power of. Um, and I do like a defensive posture and I go, do you have any weapons with you? kind of raises his hands like, no. <laughs> okay, I guess it's my turn to protect you again. And pause on that. We're now going to swap over here. <clears throat> so, the rest of the party is still together. It just seems that Zan and Jace have gone missing. That is sudden. <laughs> Bitch. <sighs> okay. I'm uh, gonna look around the room. Is it a room or is it a hall? It is a room. Um, I've tried to move you to, to where it's at. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yeah, was I say, I can't see anything, so. I uh, revealed the area. It's in the, the right side of the map. Yeah, I've got. Oh. I've got mine zoomed out pretty far. Yeah, far right side gotcha. towards the yeah middle. Do okay. I have half your? You do. He seems furious. See, I told you you could make it out of that. So the room that you are in right now, actually, let me pull up my my thing in the jigger. <laughs> yes, that is the proper terminology. God, it's so weird. Old people really do get grumbly when they get old. I wasn't grumbly until you took me out of the only safe place around here. Doomed us all. I, I mean, it's not like we're riding a dragon or something. Okay. <clears throat> right, serious? I'm going to leave you in here. <laughs> a wooden platform hangs over a deep pit in the southeast corner of this room. 
carved stone statue stands near the entrance to the east. Where where is the pit? Like there? Yeah. And There's the statue is on the opposite side or in it? One moment. I need to get you some kind of a visual here. Pit. And statue. You good? Yep. The hell is that? What is it a statue of? It is a statue of, uh, it looks like a dark elf. Huh. There is a plate at the bottom. It's an elf holding a large sword. <clears throat> Does the sword stand out from the rest of the sculpture? Like, is it metal versus stone, or...? No, it is all made of stone. Um, it is a very wide-bladed sword, and you can see the pommel has a gem in it. It looks like a dark elf. Yeah, can't make out much more. There is an engraving at the bottom of the statue, but it is in the dark elven land. Uh, none of you know it, but at this point you recognize it. Uh, Marna, do you speak whatever that scribble is? Turn me towards it. I can't see. I, I hold him up and, like, put him, like, two inches from Ah, uh, yes, Jack Corey. Jack, wh pick, what? Pick me up. I want to look at him. I So I back up a little bit and give him a bet. Yep, that's him. That's kind of what I thought. Uh, half hero, have you met? No, Jack Corey's old, old, isn't Yeah, Jack Corey's old. DM. Oh, yes. Very, yeah, very old. Okay. Yeah, I, I must, I would know this if I opened up my notes and stopped being an ass. He was one of the first to, uh, to take on the forging of Forbidden Glass. He's very important to everyone who held one of those blades, myself included. That, is that... What? Yeah, the scimitar's his. Yes, sleep skin, named after myself. Ah, oh, yes. Marna, I thought... No, oh, my bad. I thought we... You thought we were talking to Half Hero? Yeah. That's why I was confused. Half Hero, have you seen anything of Jack Corey before? I've heard the old pirate's tales, of course. There's a couple songs. I meant in this crazy, wacky fucking universe. Oh. Uh, that I just I've heard... Into. I've heard of people finding portraits. I, like I said, as soon as I found an empty room big enough, I stayed there. I'm going to check out the pit. Is is the gem real, or is it a gem... The whole like a, thing just is made stone. of stone. Oh, okay, so it's clearly a fake gem, not a real gem in a... Sorry, it, it, I interpret it that way, so that was bad. So, yeah, the Mara, whole, thing can, is, whole thing's just can, big stone statue. Can Marna actually read what it says? And it just, the name says... Or the lettering? <clears throat> Let's see. Jack Corey, Father of Blades... Ruler of the yada yada kingdoms, you know, I don't know, looks pompous to me. Oh, it's like his autobiographer. Might as well be. Okay. Titles, like, titles, titles. It's like when a dead, like when somebody dies and you put out something in the newspaper, you just, it's, oh. Yep, pretty much. Huh, uh, what so, what's in the pit? You can see, as I described, there's a wooden platform that just barely hangs over this pit. Um, let's see. Just there. there you go. There's a wooden platform that just hangs over the edge of this pit. 
it's very deep and you cannot see the bottom. Huh. I'm going to cast light and waft it down the pit. Oh, that's weird. It puts you behind the drawing. Okay. Anyway, you cast light down into the darkness. You see it brighten the area for about 20 feet, and then it just disappears. Yep. Again, that's about what I expect. Like a solid wall of blackness, or does it fade out? It just, poof, gone. As soon as it gets out of the radius of the, the orb... The light spell is, you can't see it. Well, that was weird. Begin to hear a noise. A rattling sound. A very familiar sound, especially to you, Cirrus. You just heard this sound not long ago, and it's still in your head. Hello? Skeletons. Are they... Does it sound like it's coming from the pit, or...? Yes. Okay. There are skeletons down there. Like the ones that were at the table? No, the undead kind. Give me a hand with this stuff. I mean, they were, they were, they were dead. What, what are we doing with the statue? I'm not drawing a mustache on it. You want to throw the statue Last at the time skeleton. I did that, the town guards got mad. You want to throw the statue? Push it over. Uh, would I have a... Michelle picks up heavy things all the time. Would I have a rough estimate of how heavy this thing probably... Very. I don't think I can move this by myself, man. I said I'll help. What? When you say you push think... it over, do you mean like cast it into the pit? Or do you mean yep. like just... Okay. Push it into the pit. Uh, Tyr, Tyr, you think you could help us out with this? You're probably pretty strong. Crickets. He just nods. <laughs> I pat him on the head. Alright, come on. <clears throat> okay. Everybody lift so with your were... knees and then lift your back in a sharp jerking motion. All right. One, I'm two, three. I'm not trying to pick it up. I was just going to scoot it. What? What? There's three of us. We got this. I'm still standing there waiting to scoot it. Okay. So, the three of you scoot the statue over to the edge of the pit. And now I'm going to go back over to Zan. Zan! Yeah? You hear a uh, scurrying sound in the room that you're in. You've drawn your weapons and prepared yourself. I would like you... <laughs> I feel like we're suddenly going to just drop a statue on Zan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him ideas! I hey guys, about this, this is a I great really idea! Like Bloop. <laughs> so drop it on top of the fucking pe platform. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it, but now I'd really like that to happen. Okay. Um, God, I have so many documents to scroll through. Give me a wisdom saving throw. You couldn't wait until next level? No. Seven. Seven? 
Okay. Um, so, you draw your blade through the shadows. You see it approaching. A large, terrible creature. Some ungodly creation. Its skin entirely flayed off. It looks like an amalgamation of multiple skeletons and corpses just rolled together. Fear overtakes you. You retreat into your mind and become paralyzed. I'm going to start screaming if that's a possible action. I thought that's what you were going to get here, but instead you just freeze. All right. Um... It begins to rush towards you. Jace takes the blade from your hand and attempts to swing at it. He swings the rapier, which he just took from you, in a wide arc, cleaving one of the many heads off of the beast, but it just grows back in an instant. It seems almost unaffected by what's just happened. It lurches forward and uh, you're paralyzed. <laughs> uh, it grabs you and retreats into the darkness. Okay, back to the other group. Sorry, Zan. We're about to drop a statue on this thing. I hope so. Make it snappy. Okay. On the other side of things, you are scooting a statue across the floor over to this large pit. You're pushing it in, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. I don't even know how to. Okay, give me a moment. <laughs> I don't even know how to do this either. <laughs> I just don't like those skeletons right now. You hear a loud snapping sound as well as the statue just bursting into pieces. You don't know how deep this pit is. It takes it a moment to reach the bottom. And then it's quiet. Get it. Dust off my hands. All right. I've got another theory to try. I'm going to walk over to the door. And uh, before we go through, I'm going to think about Xantha. What are we doing? Trying to find Xan. We're going to go find Zan? Try to. Alright, I grab Half Hero, and I've got Marna under the other arm. Half Hero looks thoroughly confused. He kind of shakes your hand off of him, or tries to. He says, I wouldn't be in any of this trouble if you would have left me alone. <clears throat> You'd be alright. He's so salty. Hey, hey, you haven't gotten hurt yet? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Uh, not yet. This is the Come first room here. we went into. Y'all walk through? Yep. By the end of this, I'm going to end up like the fucking Mad Max in the Thunderdome with the little guy on the... He's sitting there riding my... Aren't you already doing that with Marna on your shoulder? No, Marna's not on my shoulder. I'm holding him under my arm. Since I suddenly lost my leg pouch for him. Yeah, you have nothing. Mm hmm Okay. You enter a large room, tiled floors. You see Jace just kneeling there in the middle of the room. But no Xan. Also, it seems Tear is gone. F fucking oh. hell. I'll walk over to Jace, grab him by the shirt, lift him up. Where is she? 
They took her. I, I don't know. It was something took her. I'm an owl oh god. I know what I'm gonna do, and I really, I'm so. I'm going with it. Uh, I set half hero down, and uh, we're doing good cop, bad cop. So I'm gonna run up to him and just fucking lay into his face and yell, "Where the fuck?" Okay, give me a roll. <laughs> Actually, you know what? He's not even doing. It. He's just staring at the floor right now at this point. Um, well I mean, yeah, but I'd, uh, uh, Sirius is holding him up, right? Like, up again. Well, well, I just picked him up by the picked shirt. Picked him up. Okay, so he's picked him up. I'm full force just laying my fist into his. Give me a damage roll. Damage roll? Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, what is that? You said yeah. full force, right? So, uh, yeah, D6? Yeah, yeah. No, D4 for you. Uh, uh, yeah, my tavern brawler is 1d4, but what do I add to that? I'm not raging, so it's... Strength. Strength. Uh, yeah, so it's just my strength plus my 1d4. Right? What? I mean, no, it's a d4, because you're a tavern brawler. Remember? Well, yeah, but I add my strength to the damage, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eight. Eight. <laughs> One... Okay, so you're just full force, like, punching him in the face, right? And yelling, where the fuck is she? Give me an intimidation check while you're at it. Ooh, I'm proficient. Of course you are, barbarian. Maybe I'm not really that proficient. Uh, 12. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to give you advantage in this one. <laughs> Just because the situation merits it. Oh, that's a lot more than a 12. Uh, six, uh, 19. Okay. Uh, so, to visualize this for you, your fist smashes into his face, sending blood and possibly a tooth out into the distance. I mean, you got him pretty good. He struggles not to collapse under the punch, uh, but he stands up, his stance ragged and spits blood on the floor, looks up at you, anger in his eyes, and he says, she's gone. Something took her. I tried to attack it, but it ran off. And you didn't fucking chase it? It just happened, just before you came in. So you laid down on the ground like a fucking bitch? What the fuck are you doing? I saw it flee through the door, and you enter the door. Almost in the same instant. If I go through the door to chase after her, where am I going to get? This place is a labyrinth. I, I'm at the point of hitting him again, so I'm going to wait a moment for somebody else to do something before I do it again. I'm going to grab him by the nape of the neck. Look over to... Uh... Michelle, come on, we're following. Uh, guys? Oh, shit, yeah, she was with us. Oh, God. Yeah, she, she was with you. I totally space she was with us. Hold on. She points to the wall where the engraving says, You must pay the toll. She says, uh, I don't have that one written anywhere. She starts writing it down. What do you think that means? Not I important instantly right now. Looked at, I instantly look at the dickhead I just punched in the face. The fuck is that? <laughs> kind of straightens his back up. I don't know. I don't know how long this place has been around. I keep seeing dark elf engravings on the walls. No one even speaks the language anymore. Marna does? What do you mean no more? Marna's right here. He speaks it just fine. It's a dead language, and you're pointing at a dead man. 
He's not dead. He can talk. Dead things don't talk. Uh, it's not entirely true, but it's not important right now. I'm already angry. Let's let's not add to this. Okay, so, so you're going back through the door you came in from. Is that what I'm hearing? No, we're uh, going. I still have a hold of Jace. Which door? Points at the door that you came in from. Said so that's where. That's where she went. Are there any fucking doors in this room other than that one? I. Uh, uh, check, Serenity, I'll be right back. My daughter just answered that question. <laughs> All right. Apparently, she's kidnapped, so she's gonna go take care of the kid that just answered me. There are. A number of doors. However, well, two of them are portcullis, and one at the bottom is actually an arc. What door did you go through? It says we came in through this door. Nope. Oh, trying to get it to ping. This door. The bottommost door. The arc. So, what's with those other two doors, huh? They're gates, really. They're not doors. They're latched gates. Any anything's a door. You, it, trust me, it happens. If your hands can break through the metal bars, then by all means, let's go. We have to act quickly. I look to Sirius. We're going back um, to this door. A, as a point of note, Sirius, this is the first time Michelle has had that same spark that when you were creating the game. The, the spark of listening to you and looking for leadership. So what's it going to be? You and Roseline grab my shoulder. All right, girl, let's do this. Uh, half your uh, grab half your arm. Right, oh, um, I went ahead and added some tokens. There's Rosaline. And just for the hell of it, Marna too. So we're going to half, go back and to half the And Half-Hero has a light, right? Yes, he does. Okay. Uh, I'll going. get him one as soon as I can find something. Yeah. Um, so you're going back through the door you came in from, all like together. You said you're yeah. like holding shoulders. Okay. And, well, I still got a hold of Jace by the neck. <laughs> and so not, we're... not holding shoulders. <laughs> Lucky he and I'm, neck going, don't I'm trying the same thing I just did. I'm thinking of Xan as I go through the door. You know he's got a ponytail, right? No, we're never we're mind. We're going to get up when we go through this one. We're looking for her, right? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure my mind is in the right place because you don't want to think of some of the things I... Jesus, Half-Hero was huge. <laughs> <laughs> and a troll. It's the closest thing I could find. <laughs> I've got, listen, I have literally a thousand art assets now that I've went premium, and none of them have names. So I just have to scroll through original one, original two, original 486, until I find one. That's a I mean, huge I can make them this thing, if that's better. That that looks like a half hero to me. That's that looks like an old half hero. I mean, it might be, he's got a half hero on his red. Well, he also got is pissed off right now because he just went out from his safe zone. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah. He might punch um, me in the dick at some point. <clears throat> all right. So, all together, thinking about Xan, trying to enter through the north door, which you came in from, correct? Mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's Mark. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. He's angry. He's always angry. Pay no attention. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So the lot of you together exit the door and you enter into corridors. You're in halls. Yeah, I'm just kind of fuming right now.
Okay. Well, you've got a couple ways you can go. Yeah, uh, going to look through the uh, look through the room, inspect it, I guess. See what I can. I mean, out. you're in a hallway. Well. Right now. What's that at the end of the hall? It's a door. To the left or up? Yeah, to the right there is a doorway. Looks like a door. Do I kick the door? Any markings on this door? Any you markings? Don't see on any the markings? Wall? It's just an old wooden door. There's got to be a trick to this. I didn't mean to do that. So over here on the left is, does that just abruptly end or? Minute guys. Phone call? Child? Fan. Child phone call. From a fan. Is it wrong that in my head, I, I clicked on that to read it, but in my head I'm really debating on charming what's just so maybe oh, we yeah? could ask different questions. Sorry about that. I, uh, now my dog was making crazy noises. <clears throat> since since I've cool. learned this, since, since Michelle's learned the spell, he's debated on using charm person to interrogate people. Uh, it's, it wouldn't help in this situation. I, uh, that was not, uh, that was out of game, but I wanted to open that up and read. What'll it be, guys? Well, uh... Uh, Zan, give that? me another wisdom saving throw. Fourteen. Okay. Am I at least able to scream at this point? Yes. I'm screaming. Okay. Uh, basically... You are bound in midair, and you can't see anything around you. My light go out? No, it's dim though. I'm really counting on the guys to like, Where are we going? I, 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 I can't move, right? No, you are bound somehow. Do I see? From your toes all the way up to your neck. Do I see anything I around me? Okay. Just a string up above you, whatever's hanging you in the air. I've got Tweedle, Tweedle angry and Tweedle dead, uh, Tweedle dead under each arm. Where are we going? I'm thinking right, about so. all of them, to where I'm at, just hoping that they find me. You are going left. Is that what you said? Well, I'm trying to figure out what that is. Is that a hole or just a? Yes, it's a hole. There's, there's more to it. Oh, I totally did not think to the left of the current doorway was anything more. Sorry, the picture is kind of deceiving of where walls are, if that yeah. is. The... Yeah, I plan, well, never mind, talk about that later. <clears throat> Let's check out this hole. It's one okay. stretch. I'll make note of where the doors are. So the hole bends. All right, we'll follow it. Is there, as we're walking it, is there anything on the walls? Give me a check. A what check? A investigation check. Well, fuck. Well, I would have been looking oh. to, so. 14. Because minus one. <clears throat> you almost miss it. But then again, you do have an affinity 
for catching gold. You see a single gold coin looks as if it's been stuck into the wall. Someone engraved a little spot and stuck it in there. I take my knife and like try to pry it out. Okay. You pull it out. It's not like you've seen before. Most gold coins are round, but this one is square. And you're not familiar with whatever seal is stamped on it, but it's definitely gold. Marna, what's this? He looks it over and he says, oh, that's old. That's old. That's old even for me. I thought you were like the oldest thing here. Well, I'm, I'm quite old, yes, but that predates the Vex Kingdom. Ah, I'd say it was, uh, I don't know, it must be centuries old. One of the very first uh, gold coins mass produced. Ro Ro Roseline, anything? She kind of looks at it and raises an eyebrow. Puts her hand out like, you know, gimme. I hand it to her. She looks it over and kind of rolls her thumb over it and polishes it. Uh, I'm not sure. Don't think I've seen these. Oh, when I was, uh... When we went to Ravenloft to save Lolly, they had all kinds of really weird coins there. Um, they were pretty significant when we brought them back, but this just looks like gold to me. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll look into it later, I guess. I put it in my pants. I don't have, like, is that is that a decent enough pocket? Can I, like, just, like, where do I? You don't have pockets, so... All right, I put it in my man purse. Just don't ask. You really don't want me to describe this. Okay. Your prison pocket, okay. Let's go. Yeah. I, I yeah. will leave this up to the imagination. I'm not touching that. So, um... So... At the end of the hall, you see a portcullis, which has been opened. Okay. I fucking told you they could be open. I think I opened one earlier. I'll head down it. Okay. You enter into a moment. A room. Zan, give me a charisma saving throw. Twenty-one. Not a nat twenty. Right. Okay. So, in this room, a moment here. You see Zan suspended in air, wrapped up in some kind of webbing. She appears to be unconscious. Uh, I didn't know she was into that stuff too. I'll let go of Jace and just toss him to the side and run over to uh, just about under where she is. Okay. Um, getting close, you can see that the light above her head is almost out. I'm going to uh, cast Firebolt at where the webbing is up above her. Is she dangling? Or is yes. she all... Is she... What am I trying to say? If she's dangling by a cord, I guess, I'll cast the yes. Firebolt at the cord. Well, okay. this well, this is happening because I want to interject this. Since Sirius put him down, I'm gonna grab the motherfucker by the scruff of his neck and I'm gonna put half. That okay. mother that that mother bitch ain't running. 
Cirrus, give me a uh, give me a attack roll at disadvantage. You're trying to hit a very small target okay. from some distance. She, by the way, for you this, I want to mention, she is way up. This is not so much room as it is like cavernous. She's way up there. She's like, uh, well, about 30 feet off the ground, unconscious. Okay, first roll is an 18. And second roll is a nat. So okay. 18 plus 7, so 25. You successfully just, yeah, you successfully break the string that's holding her. And yeah, I she want to try and catch begins her to fall. Falls. Sorry, oh. I don't have levitate. Give me a roll. You're fine, just catch me. Uh, what do you want me to roll? Uh, dexterity. Okay. Just straight. Straight dexterity? Yep, just straight. I don't know what else falls. It's not really acrobatics, but uh, up, up, it seems up. like it should be dexterity. Yeah. Athletics? Yeah, it would be athletics. For, for, like, catching her and supporting the weight? Well, it's not about it's... supporting the weight. It's about catching her. <laughs> yeah, so it's a uh, 14 plus 1, so 15. Okay. You managed to catch her. Um, she still appears unconscious, however. Okay. I'll uh, lay her down and start cutting off the webbing that she's tied up in. Okay. You begin to hear a scurrying sound. There's something else in the room. And it is coming from above. Okay. I'm going to grab her and dash backwards. Back towards the group? Yeah. At this Any... time, the iron portcullis falls. What are we doing? Watch up above. There's something up there. Yeah, yeah I kind of hear that. What are we doing about? Kill it. I've got a fucking butter knife here. Well, I'm still trying to wake her up. I want to keep are, trying to cut it off of her. Are we running? The poor coal is just closed. Yeah. All doors could be opened. No, I'd rather have you here in case it comes down on top of us. I shove Jace to the floor and put my foot on his back. If I can. Um, point of note. He has a weapon. Nobody Jace else does. has a weapon. Yeah, he has the rapier. I've got the short sword. Yeah. I'm going to but... take that rapier out of his fucking hands, and I probably would have done that if I realized he had a rapier in his hand. Oh, he still hasn't fought you. So I'm going to take that rapier out of his fucking hand. All right. I I and would have done it because what... I don't trust him enough, so it's like I wouldn't want him to have a weapon in the first. Oof. Um, give me an athletics check, Michelle. Just straight? I mean, athletics. Yeah, if you're proficient, then whatever. 18. Total? 18 total. Jace gets out from underneath you, and he runs over to where his hand's at and tries to help Cirrus get her untied. I would do exactly what I would probably do if I realized he was struggling from me, and I would deck him. Well, he got a 19. He's over there unwrapping her right now. Do you want to deck him now? Yeah. Okay. Give me a roll. Totally missed my rolling. Motherfucker. 
Uh, yeah, that's not pretty. What is it? 11. You missed, buddy. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I got that on three attempts to roll it in the little bin, and it kept running away. By the way, He's... one of those is a nat 20 that I re-rolled. It hurt. He stands to his feet and kind of just pushes you. Like, literally just pushes you back. He points his finger and says... I don't care what you do, I am getting her untied. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Is there anything coming down? You don't know. Because I'm about to feed a motherfucker to something. Getting quite louder. <clears throat> I'm, uh. <laughs> I'm going to try and. Not to try and hurt her, but just kind of smack Zan awake. All right, give me a roll. And Zan, give me a charisma save at disadvantage. What am I rolling to hit? Roll For... medicine. I want you to roll medicine. Huh, okay, hold on. That's something I'm going to have to consult my character sheet for. Well, glad it's not me. That's about as good as me rolling a uh, uh, Arcana check or a Nature check. No, I can Arcana the shit out. Of Ten that. at disadvantage, which I'm mad about because my other dice is a nat twenty. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, um, mine's an eleven plus two, so thirteen. By our powers combined, she still doesn't wake up. Sorry, what did you roll again, Sean? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. No, that's not doing it. As a matter of fact, you can see her kicking and shaking in her sleep as if something terrifying is happening. Uh. At this moment, you can see the beast come into view, or at least part of it. Uh, crawls down the side of the wall again. As described, it appears to be just a pile of flesh and bones fused together, its skin flayed off. One of the heads turns towards the group and opens its mouth wide, its jaw detaching, and screeches towards the group of you. I would like everyone to give me a wisdom saving throw. Is it is it at our level or above us? It is above you. Even me? No, not you. Not you. Everyone else, and I will roll for the other characters here. Oof. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, give me wisdom saves. Maybelline fail, or Maybelline. Rosalind failed. That's my girl. Two. What? <laughs> he found my crutch. How about, how about you there? Cirrus, how'd you do? It is a 14 plus 2, so 16. Okay. Oh my god. Um... So, most of the party here has failed a madness check. What does that mean for each of you? Uh, so, Rosalon begins to experience vivid hallucinations. <laughs> Michelle, you experience an overwhelming urge to eat dirt off the floor. What the fuck? It's on the chart. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Like, if if there's a thought in Michelle's head, he's probably gonna just start eating dirt. Cause that, yeah, that's yep. Okay. Just does so, whatever pops into his head. So, 
Yeah, that's nice. Um, so, this beast screams. Rosalon falls back against the wall and begins looking around frantically, terrified. Hard to tell what the hell's going on in her head. Uh, you just collapse to your knees and immediately start eating dirt. Uh, I forgot to roll for one other person, which is half hero. He say, everyone else is fine. Uh, but half the party is kind of fucked up right now. So for four minutes, that's a long time in terms of turns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. 40 turns. Holy shit. Cirrus, it's you, Half Hero, Marna, and uh, your new friend who uh, Michelle just tried to beat the shit out of. I, uh, I look over at Marna and I don't suppose you have any tricks up your. so to speak. I'm connected to someone who's eating dirt off the floor. Can I, I reach can't down? Cast and can I reach down okay. and grab Marna? Sure. Okay. Uh, I do want to mention, though, I need every... Well, yeah, even the stunned people, I need everyone to roll initiative. Uh, I want to get a turn order going because the beast is going to be moving. I will give you one more turn before it actually gets there. Okay. 24. Oh. With a nat 20. Roll to 14. Michelle? That didn't sound great. 22. Oh. Oh. Uh. Fucking waste of a good goddamn roll, motherfucker. All right, let me give some rolls here for the rest of. Oh, Z Zan, tell me when I can do something other than eat dirt. I'm gonna go get something to stuff my fucking face with. Oh my god. Well, this isn't looking great. Oh my god. Now for the monster. Like a two? Okay. Let me get everyone in order. And you know what? Just for the hell of it. Nope. Nope. Back to the top. Just for the hell of it. Why not? Not. Marna, one. I knew he was useless. I should have just let him go to the spider. Alright, guys. So, uh... Zan, you to start. I'm gonna let you give me another charisma save. This time, not at disadvantage. Six. Six. Okay. I don't even know what that was. Percentile die. You now have disadvantage on all wisdom and charisma saves. Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm serious. That really is what it came up. The character suffers from extreme paranoia. The character has a disadvantage on wisdom and charisma checks. Well, luckily I'm so still I... asleep. Yeah. Um. You want to roll for you want to roll for your your guy over there since he's away. He's 
us a wisdom save, by the way. He is trying not to suffer from fear. You're trying not to suffer from madness. I feel like I should make that distinction. Oh, her headphones. He rolled a four. No. Oh, never mind. I said I wanted I'm to make rolling. an important... Give me a second. I'm not having somebody I'm else making my character. an important distinction here. He is rolling for fear, which is a wisdom save. You were rolling for madness, which was charisma. So he needs to add his wisdom modifier. I rolled a nine. My wisdom modifier is a zero. Okay. Monster's turn. Yeah. Unarmored. What is your armor class, Sean? Unarmored? Uh, what is it? 10 plus your dex? Yep. 11, if that's the case, yeah. Cirrus, the beast descends. It looks like a, almost like a centipede made of human body parts. Oh, it rushes that's... upon you with lovely. It rushes upon you with terrible quickness, and grabs you with its pinchers, biting you for a total of twelve damage. Ooh, okay. It's your turn. You're not bound. It just bit you. Okay. I had to I had to really struggle not to write the words human centipede over <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, trying to find my damn pencil. Uh, okay, Marna. Point, if you've got I any ideas, like... <laughs> go ahead, sorry. Uh, I would just say like to say at this point it's important to point out your positioning. Um because this thing does move pretty quickly. And you're kind of lying beside three unconscious people, or standing beside. And for the sake of this combat, I'm gonna say Marna is the Jace, is Jace's icon just for, for the sake of combat, since Marna's not going anywhere. Well, I still have a hold of him in my offhand. He says, uh, I would perform some magic for you, but I'm afraid I can't. <sighs> Just a sigh of total. Just a sigh. Totally dejected. Okay. I am going to step away from the rest of the party step as far as I can to its left. Do me a favor. See if you can move your character icon. Okay. No. Click well, the little I... arrow in the top left and see if you can move him. There is no arrow in the top left? Yeah, it's not. Oh yeah, like... because you guys don't have other options. Okay, to the no, left uh... this way. No, I've got the, uh, I've got the options, I just can't do anything. Like, I That's weird, the you... icon is assigned to you. Um, well, it so won't I even would... let me, uh... We're used in the other campaign. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, we, we were able to move our own characters in the other game, right? I'll have to tinker with that, but, uh, at any right rate, there. which direction? I couldn't really figure out how to ping it, so I just had to draw something. It wouldn't let me ping like it did before. But yeah. I'll move over there, away from it. <sighs> um, I guess I am just going to stick with what I'm good at. And uh, attack it with great vigor. Stick it with the pointy end? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> give me a roll. Uh, 
12 plus 8, so 20. 10 plus 8, 18. Do those hit? 20 and 18? Yeah. Both are hits. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and roll my damage before I do anything else. So, 3 and 2. Strength versus proficiency. No, just strength, though. So, 8 and... Sorry, I Brain disconnected part. there for a sec. What was the damage? I disconnected for a moment. It is... 15 altogether for the first two attacks. Okay. And I'm going to action surge too. Very good. Action surge, extra attack. Give me a roll for it. Um, uh, ten plus eight. And That's a hit. Eight plus eight, sixteen. Okay, that's a hit. Uh, with many heavy swings of this rusted blade you picked up from the battlefield, you can you lop a number of limbs off of the beast. Arms and legs of possibly consumed victims go flying into the distance as it screeches in agony, blood spurting over uh, the rest of the party, who's now just kind of lying unconscious. Uh, uh, you want the damage in the last two swings? I thought you said 16 was the damage. On the first two. No, 15 was on the first two. 16 yeah. must have been your two hit. Yeah, that on was the last eight plus. One. Yeah. I had. Okay. Yeah, we're level six, so I have two attacks. Okay. Give me a roll on that one. Okay. My bad. I should have been more concise. No, uh, it's where my. My thing went out. Okay. 21 between those two hits. 21 total? Yeah. Okay. So, you swing your blade wildly um, so over I... from the side of your field of vision. You can see Half Hero runs and jumps as spry as ever. He's got a knife from somewhere. He lunges onto the creature's back, just jabbing it over and over with the knife. It screams in pain and flings him into a nearby wall where he falls. Yep, that's about what I expected. Uh, he did some pretty good damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what, what Rosaline's doing over here. She is slowly walking towards this fight, but she's still just kind of looking around like terrified at something. She's not engaging, she's just walking towards you. <clears throat> Jace stands up and looks over, and he has nothing. Down on the ground, he sees Michelle basically licking the cobblestone, trying to consume as much dirt as possible, and just grabs the rapier and walks past him. <clears throat> he stands beside Zan and draws the blade and kind of just takes a defensive pose as if he's readying an action. <clears throat> Marna's in your hand, right? Yep. You get a plus 1d4 on your next check. Okay. Check or roll or what have you. He's casting guidance because, well... It requires touch, but no components. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Sam. Oh, good gracious. Uh, give me a charisma check at disadvantage. 
Eleven. Zen, wake up. You see this large beast through the spread legs of Jace, who is standing in front of you. Cirrus is at the front of the beast, swinging a sword wildly, and half heroes lying in the corner. You hear a strange sound, and to your amazement, see Michelle eating dirt. <clears throat> I'm not surprised. So, you are up. However, you are just kind of terrified of everything. You don't really think you can trust anyone around you. But you have a turn. I'm going to try to trip Jace and get my rapier back. He's fighting over the rapier. <laughs> Give me a roll. What would that be? Are you just trying to, like, kick his leg out from under him? Yeah, like, I'm swinging, like, I'm grabbing the floor, swinging myself up as I'm l using my feet to knock him down. So it's basically just comes down to an attack roll. Uh, strength? 18. Oh, wow. Okay. You managed to knock him down, and uh, as you do, the rapier pierces through his forearm. <laughs> he lets out a scream in pain, and he is bleeding. Uh, but, well, he's down. You can't just take the rapier without pulling it out of him, but uh, you knocked him down. And I look at him as like, we need to break up. I'm done. <laughs> Are you taking the rapier? What's happening? <laughs> yes, I'm taking the rapier. I'm taking the rapier as I'm saying it. You just yank it out of his arm. Okay, cool. Um, so it took your movement to stand, but you are within striking range of the creature. Are you going to make an attack roll? Yep. This guy's had the worst kind of luck. I almost okay. feel sorry for him. 22. Wow. Okay, that's a hit. Roll for damage. <clears throat> Seven. And then I get three attacks. Because I'm going to use Umbral Shard, or, uh, um... Yep, yep, I know what you're doing. Red Ambush. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> 19 plus 7, uh, 26. To hit? Yes. Are you asking if 26 hits? <laughs> Four, or, yeah. Thirteen? Thirteen. Eight plus seven is... Fifteen? Fifteen is not a hit. <clears throat> Still have one more? No, that was all three. The first attack, or was that first one an attack of opportunity? Wait, wait, wait. That was all three? I thought you said 13 was damage. 13 was damage. Oh, okay. No, I get it. So I heard two, not three. No, that last one was a not hit. I attacked, I hit twice, and I didn't hit once. Okay, so what was your damage? I got a 13. That's all I heard out of that. The second one was a... Um, Nine 
9. So 13 plus 9 is 22. I got it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, you stand to your feet in an amazing display, knocking Jace down and piercing his arm open. You withdraw the blade from him and begin a quick flurry of blows against the creature, each one piercing deep within its, uh... well, it looks like it's made of human parts, but it feels much harder, much denser. So it's fair to say it's a carapace. Uh, each blow slinging blood behind you, where Michelle is splattered across the face. You would enjoy it if you weren't so very, very I'm deep in eating dirt. dirt. So <laughs> give me a roll, Michelle. Wisdom saving throw. Let's get out of this. Come on. As I finish my Oreos. Sixteen. Okay. You take a moment and just breathe. Your face just covered in clogs of mud. And realize exactly what you've been doing. You don't know what happened, but something just snapped. No, I thought you about eating the dirt. I know exactly what happened. You look up and see the scene before you. Half your row cast against the wall. Everyone else fighting as hard as they can. Uh, Rosalind's just kind of standing there staring like in a wonderland. What are you going to do? Oh, I actually get to do a thing? Yes. I'm going to pull a Molly Weasley moment. You, you, you know the moment. I, uh, I believe I know what you're talking about. I just, just don't know what you're going to do. Uh, I'm going to scream you bitch and get up and go into a full rage and I'm going to attempt to body slam this fucking thing and beat the hell out of it. With your fists? It's what I've got. So are you like jumping over Jace while he lies on the ground and bleeds? What's I going mean, on I'm I will run through him, so if I step on him because he's lying on the ground, then I step Okay, give me an attack roll. <laughs> Motherfucker. Thirteen. Thirteen. Can't hit for Thirteen shit. is not a hit. I mean, mm -hmm. fair to say it's a large attack. creature. So you are on it, but you just haven't injured it. I'd take a second swing. And it's worse. Well, then you know it's not hit. So you are gently, on this thing's I gently back. caress its man breast, one of them. I just imagine you're struggling to figure out how to hit this thing while it's moving. Very angrily confused. Okay. Oh, come on. You can't beat Zara over here. Give me a roll to see if you're actually holding on. That's what I want to know. Uh, technically, if I'm going with Tavern Brawler, which is what I would have done, I have to hit to grab. Okay. So I did not hit, so I would assume the way this sh should play out in my head that I can't grapple it because I didn't make full con. Okay. Uh, so, the beast fairly easily shakes you off and begins to flee, sweeping its tail across the entire group of you. So as it is getting away, it is actually making an attack with its tail. Let me see what... Okay, so no one's... Let me think. If you have a plus four in dexterity, the highest armor class among you would be 14, correct? Yeah. Because no Incorrect. one's wearing armor. Uh, Michelle has Incorrect. 18. Correct. I have 18. Michelle, you're the only one not hit by this beast's tail as uh, it turns and scurries. I have a 15. Still hit. You 
You all suffer 21 damage. Fuck. All or? Not you. Okay. Everyone else. Um, so actually from where it was at, the only one not in its range was half hero. Everyone else got shit on. So Rosalind, actually, I need everyone to give me a constitution. No, strength saving throw, everyone who was hit. 10. Uh, so 26. Six. Okay. Everyone except for Cirrus and Michelle are slammed against the far wall. <clears throat> It's off in the distance, kind of just in a defensive position, waiting for someone to get close to it. Sirius, it's your turn. Okay. As a and bonus action. Give me one sec. I'm so disappointed with my rolls this evening. I'm really proud of my rolls. I decided to be Zoro. I quite literally have had like two rolls above a ten. I don't know. What are you talking about, Zoro? I'm lost. I literally knocked that. I pretty much <gasps> leg checked. Oh, Zoro. Yeah, Zoro, not Zara. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I was she, just confused. she doesn't Antonio Banderas. It's okay. Well, I mean, I thought I almost thought you were talking about Bizarro, and was like, you haven't done anything Bizarro worthy yet. It looks like you're extremely interested in your boobs. Just putting that out there. Thank you for noticing. As a bonus action. As a bonus action, I'm going to use second wind. And it is, what's my con, is plus three, so I got back a whopping total, eleven. Eleven? Okay. Yep. It's your turn. What are you going to do for your turn? Marna, can you do anything else? <clears throat> you need just kind of not really unless you want to throw me at it good idea <laughs> wait what <laughs> yeet I'm gonna draw back my arm like I'm getting ready to <laughs> I'll catch a grenade for you. And I won't try and hit it with the fireballs. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Roll the hit. Hold on. I just dropped my die. Uh, is it plus seven? So, 25. And it's as far as far as damage goes, seven. And I'll uh I'll step up just outside of its range. You know. Yeah, I can't do anything else. Half hero stands, lets out a battle cry, and sprints towards the beast. Once again, jumping on its back. I'm just kind of astounded at the resilience of this old man. Yeah. 
He begins stabbing away wildly once again. I don't know how to take him. With each stab of the knife, you hear the beast scream in agony. It's like he's actually, every stab is getting deeper and deeper into this thing. And he's actually doing pretty good damage right now. Um, technically, he is, I mean, he's not really grappling the creature, but his knife is stuck in it. So uh, that's turn for him. <clears throat> okay. Rosalon, unfortunately, is still dazed. She's in the corner. She's lying there. She's awake. She's just having these crazy oh, hallucinations and unable so, to really do much. At fifth level, Firebolt does 2d10. <laughs> I just did 1d10. Roll the other one. It's a uh, six. My bad. I totally forgot about that. One moment here. How far away is it from us? From from me? Each tile represents five feet. Uh, each full square, not the little tiny ones. Each tile as big as your character. Does that make sense? So Sirius is like 10 feet away from him. Okay, so it's got reach, I guess. Um, not really. You have to be pretty close for it to get you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Jace appears unconscious and bleeding. Good, he's not useful anyways. That poor fucker's just had... I mean, he's already us. dead. Marna says, What are you doing? I said, throw me! Okay. <laughs> are you going to do it? Yeah, I will. Just a moment. Okay. Oh, shit. Natural. Natural. What are we in at 20? <laughs> I'm concerned now. The moment that Marna touches the beast, it begins to dissolve into nothingness. That crazy son of a bitch. I mean, he touches it and pierces through it. The flesh begins to melt away as he travels through the creature. I do have a spell here, but I don't want to say anything. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I've got a good idea. Um, no way. That motherfucker did not use necrotic tat. Or, uh, inflict wound. He just passes straight through, tearing it into a pile of goo that collapses to the ground. Huh. You see, on the back of the creep, on the back of this beast, half hero is still just ah! stabbing away with his knife as quickly as he can. The room is completely silent, aside from half hero's screams and constant. Piercing but back. but it's gone now, right? It is dead. Then I'm going to pull half hero off of it and like, whoa, 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 big guy, it's it's dead. 
It's 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 okay. It's okay. And then like pat him. As you try to pull him off, he does swing in your direction, like stab it in your direction, but he misses. Swing. No, he kind of just like catches his senses for a minute. <sighs> I wanted him to stab me. Okay, I'm going to uh, go pick up. As Marna. the beast dissolves, you can see uh, Marna lying there, surrounded by blood, gore, and viscera, and dissolving tissue in a pile of gold coin. I grab Marna. You okay, big guy? Uh, whatever. Never better. I mean, if I'm already, I'm already over there, cause like, uh, uh half. You were contending with half hero. Okay, I mean. Doesn't matter. Let's just I don't go. care. Wait, take the loot. There's, there's stuff. Deserve a cut. There, there's stuff here, and I'm out of pockets, guys. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to get Jace awake. Uh, At the same time, I'm, I'm. Uh... At the same time, what? I'm holding on to Ro Rosalind's skirt just to make sure she doesn't wander off. Rosalind. Ugh. Twelve. You're muted. Sorry. He kind of barely opens one eye, and you can see he's murmuring something. I'm sorry, what? No one would ever love you. And then his corpse erupts in a mass of violent tentacles that spread all the way to the ceiling of the room. The entire room is engulfed in darkness as each of your individual lights begin to grow dimmer. The um, figure rises up above the center of the room, a single eye glaring down at the group of you, a large bloodshot yellowed eye, one that looks very familiar. You recall it from Durian itself, the eye that caused all of you to be paralyzed in the first place. Do you want to so, scroll? Give me a new initiative roll. Yes. Ten. Oh, bitchin. Nineteen. Uh, Michelle? Okay. Um, by the way, I don't know if you guys put this together or not about what this is. Yeah, I got a decent idea. I'm not yeah. liking it. <laughs> not liking our chances either. Every time I look at my profile picture, I want pizza. Go for some pizza. Okay. <clears throat> One last roll. I rolled a 10, by the way. 10, okay. Lots of 10s this time. <clears throat> All right. Cirrus. You get first go. It is dangling down from above. Okay, how far up is it? Uh, it's about 25 feet above you. It is hanging from the roof of this room. Um, 
Let's see. Ceiling, I guess, is the, the proper the proper word. Okay. Uh, I mean, I really can't do anything, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to cast Firebolt, I guess. Okay. Give me a roll. Actually, you know what? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cast Firebolt. And Actually, so... wait a moment. Yes. Before we begin combat, do we want to take a five? Asking the table. I want to punch a bitch. Uh, okay. All right. Let's fight. Okay. Firebolt. 17 plus 7. So, 24. And... 24. Grab another D10. Nine and six, so fifteen. Fifteen for damage. Yeah, and uh, I look over at Michelle. Throw Marna at it. Okay. Um. Twenty-four. The firebolt flies through the air, crashing into this large eye, which begins to swell. A single tear falls down below, which transforms into a terrifying, shambling, shadowy creature. It looks like what Malleus was before he became fully formed. Um, Let me pull up a page. Sorry, I didn't have this one pulled up. I didn't know when we were going to get here. I just... So disappointed that you can't make another attack after cancer. You can use a bonus action after a cancer. Yeah, but I can't do anything with my bonus. One sec, I'm trying to find this document. I pulled up the wrong one. Um, I've just got so much stuff put away in here. <clears throat> Okay. You see three violet beams go across the room. One aimed towards you, Cirrus, one towards Michelle, and one towards Zan. All miss, luckily. Uh, however, you recognize this as a warlock spell. Okay. Michelle, your turn. Actually... Zan actually has a higher deck score. Okay, then. Zan. I'm going to... I'm going to cast Spike Growth. I don't think I've seen you do that before. It is a level... It's, it's a new... New spell I, I got. Okay. Let me pull it up in my book here. And I am doing this like, you know how Maleficent does it in the... Okay. You a little angry, are you? Oh, just a little. Okay. Actually, not super sure what that one does either. Yeah, I've not 
I'm not seeing that. The ground in a 20 foot radius, well, it's a, it has a 150 foot radius. Uh, the ground, the, the, yeah, I got, I got it now. Um, difficult terrain creature moves in the area. It takes 2d4 piercing every five feet. Okay. Um, and there's no roll to hit or anything. It's just there. I am mad. Okay, so 20 foot area. Let me get this straight because that's a pretty big area. Um, and you're casting it around this thing, right? Yep. It's just a tw it's just a twenty foot radius underneath it. Yeah, but that is like that is like pretty big. It's a four by four area as far as these tiles are concerned. So I'm trying to figure out exactly. One sec, let me trash this. I'm trying to get the dimensions right of this thing where it would just be underneath the creature. Um, It's not the small, the tiny squares. It's a, the, it's like a four by four square, right? Of the tiny squares, it's like five feet, no. like that. Because each one of those is, yeah, five feet. So you filled up most of this room, <laughs> pretty much. <clears throat> I mean, that's that's pretty much the only positioning I could fit it in where it's not injuring Cirrus. So I'm assuming that's how you wanted it. Because it'd be four by four. Yeah, but I don't, since it's my spell, I don't, it's not difficult terrain for me, right? Good question. Um, I actually think it is. I think anything that's... No, it just... Better. Yeah, just anything. Any creature that can't see it must make a wisdom save against the DC to recognize it's hazardous before entering. So, anybody trying to go that way... <laughs> Uh, the creature that is down there, however, is thoroughly trapped in your spell. Well, is it still a mass of black ooze, or is it starting to take form? I mean, it has a humanoid form, but it doesn't really have any uh, proper features. It looks like a humanoid, but it's just it a slime. Any... Tentacles coming off of. No. Okay. Imagine like the the tar monster from Scooby Doo, something like that. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And then I and then I yell. Now, if I only had a bow, it'd be worse. All right. So you've got it stuck. Now, Michelle, what are you gonna do? I am. Uh, I mean, you're kind of in a spot here because it's up and yeah. Well, it's, well, it's shambling things on the floor, right? Yeah. I'm going to run up to the shambling thing, like right there. Okay. I'm going to throw Marna at the thing in the... Okay. He said to shock put you. Good luck. Marna tears through one side of the creature and out the other just straight through it. Uh, as he passes through, you see more of these little globs falling out. You know they take damage, right? As soon as they hit the floor. Yes, I do know. He kind uh, of runs the game, dear. Shh, uh, don't I make him mad. I did calculate the damage you did to the other one. I'm just... 
I'm in such awe of Marna. He's like a little orb of annihilation. <laughs> he's, uh, he's he's doing something. I'll just, he's my I'll friend. Just okay. Okay. Um. Sling so now that the now that I have slung, him. now that I've slung Marna through, is that my action or can we call that one attack? I know that sounds really. Technically, that is use item. So I still have two attacks. Well, that was <laughs> action. I mean, yeah, it does take an action to use an item. Girl, my, I don't know. Let, let me, let my me question would this. be... No, you didn't make a melee attack roll with one, did you? I mean, he could have made me throw make, make a roll. I was kind of waiting for it. No, I considered it a ranged attack at first, but the thing is so big you can't really miss. Now... See, use item can be used in conjunction with the rest of your turn. So I don't think it falls in there. I'd say it's a ranged attack. So that's one of my attacks? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go into a rage again, now that I'm on my second. And I am going to... I have a little bit of room with this, because I'm using Tavern Brawler, so I'm going to headbutt the fuck out of it. Okay. Attack roll. Question mark. Yes. Mother bit. I fucking quit. I'm done tonight. That's an at one. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, you fall face first and bikes. Pretty much. I was going to say you step forward to headbutt him and he dodges and you fall into the stuff. Um, which would make you suffer 2d4 raging. piercing. Nope. Raging. He still gets raging because he did take damage. I did Seven I damage. did say I go into a rage. I know you did. I had a conversation with uh, one of our party members <clears throat> about this already. Technically... All damage dealt in this realm is psychic because you're not really here. Okay. Silence. Silence. I'll I'll talk to you about this in a minute. Uh, but basically, creating the realm, I wanted to handicap everybody, and this was the best way to do it. <clears throat> so if I think really hard, I can get my bow. No, I don't think it works like that. <laughs> well, if it's psychic... You can't take physical damage because your physical body is not here. But he can. Uh, that's kind of... Because if it's Durion, that's kind of that gray area. He is the space, and the space is he. Oh, I can't use Kalanon. Damn it. Well, you can. It just won't function like it does in the the real world. It'll so function it... as a rapier. Which is kind of the whole point in that room before with the, the skeletons around. But if it's against Durian, then I can use the Radiant against it. But you don't have Kalanon. Kalanon cannot be in Durion. That's why Rosaline just threw it on the ground. She said this, it's not real. Yeah, that's... Is this following? <laughs> well, we had that conversation whenever. Okay. I, I can touch back on this stuff after we, we finish the encounter, but... Seven. Marna's turn. He can't do anything. Actually, as a matter of fact, he's like halfway across the room over towards where Rosaline is at the moment. Half hero. I don't even know what to do with him. Um, he's going to try to help you out. 
he's going to run over and try to shank the guy who uh, who made you fall. He's swinging, trying not to get into the entangled area, but he's not landing any blows. Oh, thank God. Rosalind finally comes to consciousness, I guess you could say. She stops going through that hallucinatory fit and realizes the danger of the, the situation before her. She's looking around, but she doesn't know what to do. Actually, let me get her character sheet. Sorry, guys, it's taking me a second. I didn't, You're good, didn't quite prepare like I usually do. Okay. In the center of your big mess of tangled vines and webs, Rosaline casts a thunder wave, a 15-foot cube of thunder in the entire area. Um, Ooh, doing 12 damage to all the creatures within. Uh, two, nope, never mind. Forgot your stupid thorns over there. Okay. All of these zombie creatures are dead. Cirrus, your turn. Uh, okay, so... I'm trying to figure out what I... Really wish you would have gave me at least a short rest before throwing me into this. No um, rest. Yeah, I guess I'm going to try and smack him again with a fireball. Because I don't think I really have anything else. Okay, let's see here. So... 11 plus 8, 19. 19 to hit? Yeah. That is a hit. And it is an 8 and a 9, actually. So 17 damage. Fireball so. hits the creature. You've done enough damage to... Uh, I wouldn't say stun it, but you've caused it to lose its grip. It falls from the ceiling and plummets down below. Pretty much right where I put it. Tentacles flying out in every direction. It squeals, and it's actually prone for the round. But you knocked it off the ceiling. Oh, great. I've knocked it into its second phase. Um, so my next question was going to be... Uh, if this is... Durion, is the damage we're doing to it psychic, or what we would normally do? Technically, all damage here is psychic. Okay. Technically. Like, if you're asking, will fire spread? Yes, and it will deal damage as it spreads. However, for the it's sake of... psychic. It's it tight. Actually... I got you. Now, where exactly is Mar uh, Marna is sitting over here beside the girls, yeah. 
He just kind of clattered against the wall. So... Can I... Ah, shit. Do that. What am I doing? Okay. So let's see here. Here I am. So... Was that 5, 10, 15, 20? Or is that... Uh, are you going diagonal? Because that's just 5, 10, 15. You're doing diagonals. Well, I'm trying to stay out of that. Oh. There it goes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going over there to Morna. Okay. And then I'm going to use the remainder of my move to get up closer. There. All right, man. So, creature's turn. Can I get rid of this thing? Okay. One for each of you. The creature rises. The large eye swells and reddens in anger. Beams begin to emit from each of its many tentacles flying in all directions. Uh, basically, because the ridiculous rolls, everyone except for Michelle over there uh, takes 10 damage. Okay. It's not as bad as I, as it could have been. Zan, it's your turn. I'm going to use Frostbite on it. It has to roll a constitution save, correct? Uh, yes. Your spell DC is... Like, what is it, like 14, I think? Where would that be again? 10, or no, 8 plus proficiency plus spellcasting modifier. So 8, 11, 12, because wisdom's your spellcasting modifier. Um, so it rolled an 11. That is a hit. <laughs> he takes 2d6, so... You want to roll? Roll. Nine. Nine. And now, doesn't that actually give disadvantage or I'll, I'll check. Um he is slowed. And sure. he he is disadvantaged on the next weapon attack roll it makes before the end of its turn. Okay. Yeah, I knew there was some kind of disadvantage imposed there. Okay. Technically, it is a weapon. I'm pissed off, okay? Pissed. As Frostbite crawls over one of its tentacles, you hear each of you in your mind, you will never escape this place. Even if you slay me, you will be trapped here for eternity. I think back, if I'm in my own mind, we're all fucked anyway. Michelle, it's your turn, buddy. Uh, it's on the... Well, I'm gonna roll my fucking feather fists at this. Because that's all I can really do, and I can't hit fucking anything. You just have except to... that one bitch that turned into this bitch, so maybe... Technically, you've already hit it a couple of times. You did this to us. <laughs> um, uh, 14, 19, 22. was inevitable. 22 to hit? That's a hit. And then max damage. Uh, 5, 9, 11. Okay. 
just rear back your arm and slam it right in the eye. Juices go flying through the air. You hear a squeal and a squelching sound as your fist pierces through it. Marna laughs in the distance. <clears throat> uh, it's his turn, but he can't do anything. I, that he was one kind of... attack. I get two. Oh, that, yeah. Forgot. Give me a roll. Uh, does it have, like, tentacle arms and stuff like that all flailing about? Yeah. yeah. How big a round is this? Is the hitbox about how big a round it is? The, the... Yeah. Okay, so there's no way I can, like, grapple this thing and reach around and grapple of its tentacles. I mean, you could try to grapple one of its tentacles. The only thing is you're going to have to move through those vines. I, I mean, I'm already in them, but I didn't mean, um... I meant to grapple all of them, and if I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to hit it. No, you can't get all of them. Okay, I'm making a round two. And that's shit. That's a... 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 does not hit. Or, rather, you do hit, but you don't damage it. It's kind of... I mean, it's a big tentacle monster, so if you get it at the wrong angle, it's not really going to damage it. <clears throat> Seeing that you're getting all the attention, Half Hero does what he does best. He runs and tries to jump onto the beast. Uh, you can do it! It's just he... fucking failed. He fell into the spiky bits. Oh no, I feel bad. You can cancel okay. it at will, I think. Is it a concentration it took... or just a It's not. It it's I it's a uh I think it's just there for the duration, right? It's there for 10 minutes. So he fell on the stuff. <laughs> flat on his ass, and he gets pierced by the large thorns coming from down below. <clears throat> Rosaline looks around, unsure of what to do. She can't cast her AoE ability anymore, so she simply just looks over to Zan and places a hand on her shoulder. You have advantage on your next, uh, your next turn. Serious. Shit, that's what I can do as a bonus action. I knew I had a bonus, a thing I could do for my bonus action. I totally. Sp what is it now? My turn. Yeah. Okay. You, you have mana in hand. You're like eight feet away from this thing. Okay. Take a few, st a few steps back. And take a running leap at it. Towards the eye, specifically. Okay. I know. Like I a leap you. with your sword, or? A leap with Marna. You're just gonna stick him in there. <laughs> yeah. Is, is that what I'm hearing? Well, I have the sword, <laughs> too. But apparently the most effective tool in my arsenal is Marna. Okay. Um, sure. Give, give me a God, a, an acrobatics check. <laughs> Hold on. I dropped the dice again. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Acrobatics. Oh, sweet. That is a natural 20 sound, sir. I'm smiling quite smugly right now. What's the total on that? <laughs> What's the total? That was just the joke being over there. I'm being a facetious ass, because if somebody's being super smug with me... My comment would usually be, oh, a nat 20? Okay, so uh, what's the total on that? We'll see if it... <laughs> yeah, that's that's the way it was back in the day. But uh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doing that. You stab Marna face first into this creature, all the while he's just screaming at the top of his lungs. Ah! As he sinks in to the beast's single bloodshot eye. Um, you see him kind of dissolve through it and just disappear. Marna disappeared? Yeah, he just dissolved through the eye and now you can't see where he's gone. Shit. I have to dig in after him. <laughs> no, okay. I, no, I, uh, I'm just going to make another attack with, uh, with my sword. All right, give me an attack. Do I have a touch range spell? I'm trying to remember if I have a touch spell. Come again? Hold on, I'm checking. I was checking to see if I had a touch spell. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so... 15 plus 8... That hits. 23, yeah. Yeah, it hits, right? And, oh, my bad. I forgot to roll damage. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a 1 plus 5, so 6. In the eye. So you yeah. weren't doing a touch spell, you were just hit. Yeah, just hit with the sword. You pierce the sword into the eye, you hear a gruesome, disgusting, squelching sound as juice squirts out. It seems a lot denser than you thought it would be. Uh, but, yeah, you stab it directly in the eye. Um, very quickly, it rises on all of its tentacles, makes a sweeping motion across the room. Uh, you're on top of it, so I want you to give me an athletics check. Athletics. Okay, that's... Uh, that one's 15, too. So, 23 again. You're still pierced some. into the creature. Um, let me see. Okay. Give me a second. One Michelle! What? I uh, dropped my 1d20, the one that's been rolling really well under the bed. Give me a second. Michelle, what? It still misses you because your armor class is ridiculous, even in linen clothes. Okay. You're making me take psychic damage. Yeah. So, okay. I feel not bad at all. My, and my AC is ridiculous, specifically for a barbarian, because they're normally not a, got, not a super high. Yeah, some people build them, well, what I would do too, the dex con, so that we get that high armor class. I just okay. rolled good on this build. You back? Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. It makes a sweeping motion around the room. Uh, Michelle dodges it. You're still stuck onto it. Uh, however, your good little friend over here, Half Hero, is not as lucky. Once again, he is slammed against the wall. And this time he falls unconscious. He appears to be bleeding. It lets out yet another horrifying psychic screech, one that you haven't heard in some time. Reminds you of that night when Alias first came back. I want everyone to give me a wisdom save. Zan, recall you have disadvantage. Hey, Whoa. was that thing that uh, Marna gave me, was that to my next save? It was to your next attack roll, but you hadn't used it. Yeah, okay. 
Holy shit, dude. That's the third 15 I rolled with the spread dice. Nat 19. Okay. You are fine. Uh, Mine is a uh, 17. I can't wait to level 7. I can't wait. Ah, shit. <laughs> Roseline got a 2. Half Hero got a 1. Um, so... Good. Does, would somebody who's unconscious really have to make a save on that? No. I mean, I just wanted to see what was going to happen. Okay. Um, I'm like, that poor guy. You're paralyzed for two turns, Zan, as well as the rest. What happened? You are paralyzed for two turns. Oh, okay. Not like I could do anything more. <laughs> oh, he also has to make another... Okay. Was that versus your frostbite? Roll your damage, double it. Twenty-four. What? Is it 2d6? It's 2d6 at level 5. Oh my god, which one of that giant fucking stack did you just roll? She literally dumped her full dice bag out. What? What? But he also has disadvantage again on his swing. Oh, that's great. Cool. Okay. Um, so it's your turn. If you want to give me another saving throw to see if you get out of this paralysis. Is it at disadvantage? He's gone up. Seven, I'm not out of it yet. Michelle. Oh, uh, yeah. Your turn. Is it in front of me? Right in front of you. Let's see I... it's stuck into its giant eyeball. I'm going to apparently punch it in the back of the head. Punch me in the back. <laughs> Wait, we're on opposite sides of <laughs> I got your back. Ah, oh, you got my back. I got your back, Archtrude. Go to your room. Oh! What? what? Boob shots confirm. It's a nat. Nat 20, okay. Roll it, double it. The double one is still one, so don't get too excited. Oh, only uh. one. But I did roll a d4, and it did happen to be a 1. However, that's 1 plus 5 plus 16. Rage damage is plus 2. My strength modifier is 5 plus 1. So 8. Yep. You, you punched it for 16, just to clarify. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so how do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> uh, I want to like punch it and then fall through it and just like end up like hugging Cirrus on accident. If I can see it. Okay. Wait, can I grab Marna while I'm walking, while I'm falling through it, or is he? While you're punching through it? Oh, he's still in there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you just punch your fist in and yank Cr Marna out. Critical and success. <laughs> yeah, you just slam your fist through it, grab Marna by the eye sockets, and tear him out, and the creature dies. Oh, this is the wrong skull. Whoops. Oh, oop. Uh, let me get my fingers. Uh, are you are you all right? I'm like pulled my fingers out of his eye sockets. I'm like. It is just covered in goo. Uh, so. 
the creature lets out a terrible scream that echoes in everyone's minds, dropping all of you to your knees. The entire room is filled with an intensely bright light as the iris rises into the sky, beams of light emanating from it in every direction. And then it erupts, leaving you all just standing there, sitting there, covered in gore in the room. Uh, are we back to mental normal? Your effect is long term. You have to be cured of that effect. Uh, actually, per the conditions of the effect, you no longer trust anyone. You feel as if you're constantly being watched. You're you're basically. Um, let me see here. How how did it put it? You suffer from extreme paranoia. There it is. The long term effect. You can be cured. You're just going through some horrifying things right now. Well, it didn't help that Jay said what he did, so hey. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Uh, but you're all there. You're still in this room, however. Roseline walks over and just kind of glances around, glances over to the corner where the previous beast died, the big pile of gold and the little bits of tentacles splattered across the walls. And she's kind of just like, I really thought we'd be out after that. You said that we wouldn't be out. Did you expect a miracle? I start walking around the room to see if I can't find anything on the wall. Just the same etching as before. Um, the toll must be paid. Um, a toll I must over. be... I'm waiting on whatever you do, Sirius, because I just had a thought in my head, and, well, we all know me. Uh, go ahead, because I don't know exactly who should be this toll right does, now. Does this thing say the same thing as the rest of them, Marna? Does that say the toll whatever shit, or is that in... It's common. Okay. Uh, a toll must be paid. There's... Only one alive thing in here that didn't come in here with that's experienced the end of the world, guys. I walk oh. over to Half Hero and slit his throat. Half Hero's <laughs> already dead. I go and slit his throat. Okay. Wait, so when did Half Hero die? When he was slammed he got against slammed the wall, against the wall the bleeding. Time. Oh, I thought you said that he was unconscious. Yeah, he was. I was going to have a whole sequence where, you know, you realize that he's dead, but now he's just going to cut his head off, so. Yeah, Michelle's just going to walk over and go slit his throat, probably not even thinking about the fact that he might be dead, because in Michelle's eyes, he's alive still, and this is a toll that must be paid. With the knife that he has? Yes. Like you're taking the knife from him? You do so. Michelle, what the fuck? Just bleeding out. I mean, it's already dead, but now he's just covered in blood. Uh, as far as I knew, he was still alive. Yeah, as far as everyone knew, I mean, when you get close to him... Actually, no, you would have noticed his light's gone. You saw that he had a light before. Okay. Michelle probably would not have noticed that. Yeah, most likely not. Definitely lights out now. Mind you, Michelle, character-wise, really looked up to Half Hero. He was a very, uh, very spry young man, even as a. An... Rosalind is just kind of like, what the fuck? 
So that gold that's laying on the ground, is it the same as the coin that Michel had gotten out of the wall earlier? No, that was a square coin. These are gold coins. They actually look They're all familiar to gold you. Coins. I'm, yeah. I'm going to put two gold pieces on um, a Half Hero's eyes. I Marta really says, thought you're doing it do wrong. Something. What what do I need to do? You're do you don't put coins on his eyes. You put one in his mouth. One in his mouth? So I shove it in his mouth. Uh before she does that, I I <clears throat> I pull the one out of my man pocket. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> Without thinking about it, I put it in his mouth. Oh, dude, you never got it. The body disappears. With the coin? Yes. All right, so I go pick one up and I put Uh, uh, one in my, a clean one in my mouth. Well, Well, I mean, it's relative. They're all coming from a monster's guts. Well, it. The, it's going to be in the middle, like somewhere, and I clean it off, and I try to put it in my mouth. Zan disappears. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll follow suit. I will, at least. Okay. I'm so confused. What? The, where the fuck is everybody going? Rosaline says, well, I guess this is what we have to do. Open up. Uh, uh, just, we're, hang, I don't trust you to do it mouth? yourself. Open your mouth. You're you, going to go you, first. You're not slamming this in my mouth. Give me a second. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab one. And I'm going to cast Prestidigitation on it. And okay. then I'm going to put it in Marna's mouth. Oh, Okay. He disappears. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, that's fucking weird. I, I want to make sure you're going to get out of here. I, I really don't want to offend you, but I'm kind of afraid that if you don't go before me, something's going to happen. Or maybe you just won't do it. And you'll get stuck here. We do it at the same time. Deal. <clears throat> to each other. Okay. All right. Uh, wait, hang on. Do you want these cleaned? Please. You I, know, cast press- pre- I, pre- yeah. I cast press a digitation on both of them. All right. And then I hold one, and I go three, two, two uh, one, and I there stick it in. Okay. Poor half hero. Got his throat slit and then a poop coin shoved in his mouth. The group of you all fall from nothingness. You're in a void for a long time and suddenly see a bright flash of light and then you're in the sand. Do I still have that mental effect on me? Yes. You can see swarms of undead rushing towards a carriage where a man with a large claymore, the one you recognize from the statue, swinging it in wide arcs, tearing down the undead. Fighting alongside him are three others, all just trying to fight off this undead swarm. You turn, and directly behind the group is Malleus, with hatred in his eyes, staring down at the group of you. Do we have our equipment? You do. And that's where I'm going to end the campaign for the night. Oh. <clears throat> Which so, means Marna 